So one of the most common questions I get from beginners is what sort of gloves to use or what sort of gloves do I recommend. Before we get into gloves, uh, there's one thing that I think is the most important. It's more important than the gloves themselves and that is the general idea of taking really good care of your hands, your hands and your wrists. There are so many small bones, uh, tendons and ligaments throughout these hands that proper wrapping, proper protection, proper technique is way more important than what gloves you choose. In other words, you have to build in uh, the care and longevity of your hands. These things are not smartphones or laptops. You can't upgrade them to the latest model. You can't replace them. You get what you get. You get this one set. And I've seen people, um, I mean, a lot of people have notions of what makes a tough hand. And I think that you should definitely separate your mindset from street encounters and boxing. This channel is 100% about boxing. I mean, there is some MMA, uh, kickboxing uh, applicable stuff, but it's not about the street. It's not about using your bare hands. So uh, in boxing, to get good technique, you have to throw hundreds of thousands of punches. To throw hundreds of thousands of punches, to get that technique, you need to take care of your hands so that they can last long enough so you can throw those punches. First and foremost, uh, taking care of your hands involves wrapping them properly, wrapping them well. And I'm not going to go over a wrap right here. There's, there are a lot of good examples on YouTube, but basically means, uh, you know, in this position, good support across the knuckles, good support uh, across the wrist. I like interlacing through the fingers, uh, a buildup and support around the thumb, uh, all that kind of stuff. There are a lot of good uh, wrap videos online. Take care of your hands with a good wrap. The type of wraps I like are the Mexican style stretch wraps. The longer the better. Uh, if you can just really pad them up and use that stretch wrap, the Mexican style, to get a good compact fit, uh, then you're looking at a good wrap. A lot of people have a hard time, especially in the beginning, uh, before their knuckles toughen up a little bit with uh, scabbing on the skin or their, their, the skin sort of peeling off. Now what I recommend for that is get some hockey tape, get some medical tape, tape your hands first before you do your wrap. That way you have something sticking to your knuckles and the wrap will slide across the tape and that way your skin isn't going to peel off and come off. Plus a little bit of tape around your medical tape, hockey tape, a little bit of tape around your knuckles and your wrists is going to give you a little bit of support. Don't go too hard, just uh, do a nice uh, light but solid uh, couple wraps around and that's going to protect your skin with the wraps over top, protect you from a little bit of scabbing on your knuckles. Okay, so on to the gloves. Uh, there are a few things we're going to go over in terms of size in terms of structure and build and uh, different aspects of your boxing training. Now I think that the top things that people are looking for in a boxing glove, and it really comes down to one thing, and that is value. You're looking for value. Something that has a comfortable fit, uh, it offers protection, and something that lasts and is durable. One of the first things that to get into is the issue of the weight of the glove or the size of the glove. Now I typically, for all my bag work, uh, pad work, um, double end bag, that sort of stuff, I like a 12 ounce bag glove. Now some people, wreck, especially if you're a heavier person, uh, heavy weight, uh, or if you're looking for punch endurance, shoulder endurance, a lot of people like a heavier glove, like a 16 ounce glove. Now, as well, for me personally, for bag work, uh, as you build up a glove collection, if you ha have a little bit extra money and you're in boxing long enough, you might build up a glove collection. Uh, I've used both, 16 and 12, uh, often in the same session. So that's the other factor as well that we're gonna talk about is, you know, what's your budget? You know, for some people, to spend $300 on a pair of winning gloves is a great value. I've uh, used winning gloves and I've known people who have winning gloves and they last and they are durable and they're a great value. But however, 
to chalk up $300 for a pair of gloves is not in everybody's budget, especially when there are a lot of great brands out there uh, for $70 up to $120. The first thing is, is with a 12 ounce glove. Why do I like the 12 ounce glove? Well, when you fight, you're using a 10 ounce glove uh, in the amateurs. And there's something about it, you know, it, from my experience, the mind and hand connection when it kind of almost goes as well when you're in shape. When you're in good shape, your mind will do more things when you're in your sparring or when you're in your fight. So for example, if you're out of shape, you might go one, two, three, two, slip, and then you will sort of stop right there or want to get out because your mind knows that your body really can't handle more than that. However, when you are in good shape, you'll go one, two, three, two, slip, two, three, dip, bum, bum, turn, jab, 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 pop back and cover. When you are in good shape, your mind and your hands and your, and your whole body will work together uh, a little bit more continuously, sort of quicker and, and more in a continuous flow. And one of the reasons why I like working with uh, a 12 ounce glove on the bag is that it simulates the fight experience more closely since you're using 10 ounce gloves. And I've also used 10 ounce gloves in training as well for the bag. You will just find that your hands move faster, you're moving your head faster, like everything that you do seems to have a little bit more of a quick zip just with that little bit lighter weight. Your punches will be shorter and quicker and it's gonna simulate more of how you'll be throwing and moving in a fight situation. That's why I like 10 ounce gloves, or, or sorry, 12 ounce gloves or even 10 ounce gloves. However, most of the time you are sparring with 16s and since sparring is what best prepares you for your fights, using 16 ounce gloves on the bag tends to get you more ready for the sparring experience. So it's, if you're using 10 and 12s all the time and you never get a chance to throw on some 16s or you're not sparring a lot, when you put on those 16s and go to spar, it's going to be slow and you're going to struggle if you're not used to them. It's nice to have a pair of 16 ounce bag gloves if you have the option uh, to work and simulate more of the sparring experience. If you don't have the money or the budget to get bag gloves and sparring gloves, one thing that you can do, uh, which you know, in, in, in some places in the world where you're gonna get one pair of gloves, is get a Mexican style glove that is about a 14 ounce. So here's one example, this is Team Eurosa. Uh, their glove is uh, Casanova brand. Casanova brand has been around like since forever. Uh, the Rays gloves are built on, on the Casanova type model, uh, which has been around like for decades. A glove like this is really well built. The durable leather, great stitching. The reason why uh, these gloves are made this way is because uh, you know, a lot of people in Mexico or in certain parts of the world aren't going to have a glove for both bag work uh, and sparring and then maybe other specialty small gloves for the double end bag. They got to get one glove and it's got to do everything. So this is a 14 ounce glove uh, from Team Eurosa, uh, Casanova brand. If you're interested in a glove like that, that's sort of an all purpose glove, I'm going to leave a link in the video description below and you can check out more of what they've got. Now, the, the thing about uh, that sort of glove, like a Mexican style glove, is uh, Rays, Casanova, Team Eurosa, is that the durability is incredible. Those things are built to last. The only thing, however, is that if you are sparring with 14 ounce gloves built like a Mexican style, your sparring partners might not like you using those gloves in sparring because they are a little bit harder, a little bit tougher, and they may want you to go with it with a traditional, especially if you're a heavy hitter, go with more of your typical 16 or 18 ounce sparring gloves. So I think that you know if you're going to be using a Mexican style glove for bag work and your sparring, that's going to be a great value, especially if you can only uh, afford one pair of gloves to use for all your situations. But you might want to run that by your sparring partners to make sure that you have both have an understanding of what you're using and, and sort of the outcome of that. Okay, on to bag gloves. There are a few things that I've noticed throughout the years. Uh, one, for example, in this ringside glove, a lot of the newer models of the gloves, I don't know if you can really see it, they have this sort of rounded 
front rounded uh, front setup or I guess you know whatever the forefront of the glove if, here if you look at this Eurosa style glove you're looking at a flat sort of top now uh, another you know for example if you look at like uh, Hayabusa they have a flat top or if you look at a lot of rival brands uh, rival brand gloves they have a flat top uh, ringside and a lot of other brands also that they're gonna have sort of a rounded now the rounded offers you a little more protection and it's a little more forgiving if you miss hit so for example when you contact with a flat surface this top is going to absorb some of the shot before it fully presses down and impacts your whole fist as well if you hit a little bit off center on the bag it's going to give you the cushion and protection uh, that's going to protect your hands um, if you and your wrist if you miss hit a little bit the flat glove the flat top or sort of like the harder glove like a Hayabusa rival or you know some of the older ringside that gives you a sort of a feedback of when you hit precisely on the bag that I like again however uh, for longevity or if you're a beginner if maybe you're, you tend to miss hit even by millimeters this rounded sort of top is going to be a little more forgiving and give you a little extra padding the other thing that's important with your bag glove is the fit some gloves have a lot of space on the side and there's no way to really know this in advance unless you're going to um, find somebody who has a glove of that brand and then they measure their hand and you can measure your hand and find out whether it's a fit or not for example um, in a medium uh, size or the 12 ounce ringside gloves now they fit very nice and snug to your hand so when I put my hand in there I can feel it snug all around the older ringside models, let's say like early 2000, that's one of the reasons why I switched from ringside to a raised glove is because they were a bit wide, they had that extra space, so I put my hand in there and there'd be about an inch of extra room on the side that I didn't like and after a while when you're working with that glove it gets kind of sloppy and moves around on your hand. So, uh, you know, I know again like some of the gloves like Rival and Hayabusa, they fit well like that. Tidal, I've used a few Tidal and they fit really well. Tidal has good support and durability. The new ringside gloves, uh, they fit nice. They have a nice snug fit. Next thing, sparring gloves. Uh, with a sparring glove, if you can afford or if you're going to get both a bag glove and a sparring glove, again, you're looking at a sparring glove like this, uh, another ringside brand. It has a longer cuff. It's going to offer you a bit more protection, especially when you block shots. If you're using a bag glove, it's going to hit you right on the forearm. It doesn't offer as much protection, so this sort of longer cuff offers you more protection. Also, it's very firm and thick, what they've got. Some of them are softer, but there's a lot of foam, a lot of padding. And that does two things. Number one is it takes a lot of the, the abuse off your sparring partners. So you're not lacing them so hard with hard shots. But a lot of this padding also offers good defense, good defensive protection. If you're blocking like this, and taking shots, it absorbs a lot of the pressure uh, from those punches. So if you ever spar, if somebody ever allows you to spar with a 10 or 12 ounce glove, bag glove, which you know I've let that happen every now and then, um, when you're using those lighter gloves, your hands are gonna be fast, you're gonna be able to see really well through those gloves, but the defense, you're gonna find that you don't have as much cushion, you don't have as much of a margin of error to block those shots uh, for defense. The only thing about a sparring glove, or what they call a training glove, why you don't want to get this and use it for your bag work or rely on a sparring glove for your bag work is that they're not built to take the beating of thousands and thousands of punches on a heavy bag. I remember back in the day uh, when I first started boxing, I was at a gym. Uh, Clyde Gray was at that gym, former Canadian welterweight champion. and. Uh, I was using a sparring glove to hit the bag and this is like way in the beginning and he came over and he was, he was so mad at me he goes get those gloves you're gonna ruin them get those gloves off your hands because I was using sparring gloves on the bag and ruining the gym's gloves so but make sure that if you get a sparring glove use it for your sparring I wouldn't recommend using it on the bag you're gonna wreck them and then in no time they'll be no good for sparring and they'll be no good for the bag either so again it all depends on whether you're gonna get a separate 
uh, bag glove and sparring glove or whether you're gonna go with like a Mexican style which is good for both. I know that this video uh, mentions a few brands but um, these brands are the kind that I've used from my experience throughout the years. It's what I know, what I stick with. But I do support the other brands because I've used some of them. For example, like I said, Winning is a great glove if you don't mind forking out the cash. Uh, they are well built, they're comfortable, and they last. Uh, Hayabusa is a nice, great, compact, solid glove that I like. Twins, Twins gloves are bulky, but they're well made, very durable. So I also have used Twins, uh, that's more of the Thai boxing brand. I do like um, how their gloves are made. A little bit bulky for my liking, but uh, durable. Tidal, I've seen some great gloves from Tidal. Uh, great support, uh, well built, different brands. The Tidal gloves are good. Rival, I've seen a few of the Rival gloves. Rival gloves really promote their features and they can be, they're a little more expensive um, with different hand protection and different ergonomic fits that are going to allow for an, an optimal fit depending on what you're looking for, whether you're looking for more fit or you're looking for uh, more padding or whether you're looking for just a cheaper price. Uh, Rival makes a number of good gloves in that respect. Ringside and Rays, uh, you really can't go wrong. Very durable, um, well built, uh, a nice fit. And then again, it depends whether, you know, if you have experience in boxing, whether you, you like going with that flat top or, or sort of a rounded top glove, uh, depending on your level of experience. So this is just a beginner overview of boxing gloves. When people ask, and get this question, you know, every second day, what gloves should I get? What gloves should I use? And I pretty much recommend the same thing all the time. Try to get yourself a 12 ounce bag glove. If you're working on the bag, a lot of the brands out there are pretty good. They have good stuff. I personally like the ringside gloves. Uh, if you're going to be sparring as well, get yourself a separate pair of 16 ounce sparring gloves. If you're looking for one glove and you're going to be doing it all, look into getting yourself maybe a 14 or 16 ounce Mexican style glove uh, from Team Eurosa, Casanova, Make or Ray's glove, something like that. If you can afford it, it's also nice to get yourself a pair of 16 ounce bag gloves so that you can work the bag and condition yourself for your sparring. And if you can also afford it, get yourself a pair of 10 ounce gloves, if they have 10 ounce bag gloves in the brand you like, or even pro gloves to use on the double end bag. I tend to like either on the double end bag uh, a wrap, like a, an extra firm wrap, or a very small light set of gloves so that your hands are faster and you get more of that touch. This is my general overview of boxing gloves for beginners. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the description below. But I hope if you're a beginner or you're navigating uh, the boxing glove market and what to get, hope this video helps you out. All right, thanks for watching. Peace. One thing I will mention is uh, don't forget on my website to go there, precisionstriking.ca. Go to the bottom of the page, sign up uh, for my newsletter that's going to be coming regularly. And with that, you'll get a free 40 minute video where I outline uh, top mistakes that I think limit people's progress in the gym, especially beginners.